Hey everyone, my name is Nyla Magruder, and today we're going to be drawing one of my favorite characters, Squirrel Girl. First, I start with a circle. And this is going to mark the top of the head. Now, when I draw a head, I usually like to do a three-quarter view. That means the head is kind of slightly turned instead of a full frontal view or like a side profile. So if I were to be doing like a full frontal view, I would draw a line right down the middle here, but I'm not doing that. So I'm actually going to draw a bit of a, a curved line that marks the three-fourths, like the slight direction that the head is going to be turned in. And here I'm going to do a similar curved line to mark the eye placement. So from here I'm going to just sketch out the bottom part of the, the head. So the cheek here, the chin here. going to readjust this three-fourths line and of course I have a handy eraser right next to me so, so that when I make mistakes like this I can just just erase a little bit so I can clear up what lines I'm using. So for Squirrel Girl I'm giving her a little bit of you know a round cheek and round chin here we're marking the jawline. So I like to start by just focusing on the, the structure of the head. Just sketching out like the dimensions of the skull. We're also going to draw her neck and the top of her shoulders so that her head's not just floating in space. And also she's got this cool collar. I like drawing the collar. It's kind of a triangle shape that goes behind her neck and then the collar on the other side as well. So we're gonna do that collar shape. I'm going to just mark out a bit of her jacket, not too far. And then another triangle forms the rest of the collar. And then her costume, like her, her top, is a little angle like this, and she's got that cool, like, for, that fur trim. So we're gonna just sketch that in. Now we can come back and do some details on the head. So next, I usually like to sketch the eyes in. I like drawing big eyes. So we're gonna do something of a, like a crescent, a half circle, using this, this eye marker that we've previously drawn. And so again, this is a three-quarter view, and we're using this, this line we've made as the center point of the face. So this is telling us the distance between the eyes. Um, usually, like, the space between the eyes right here is about one full, it's about the size of another eye. So we can use that general measurement to figure out where her other eye is gonna be placed. And because our head's turned like this, this eye is gonna be a little bit smaller. I'm also gonna come down and make, make her eye shape a little rounder, not quite a circle. A little round like this. And just above, I'm going to draw her eyebrows. Now, 
the second line we've drawn, the, bit, the bottom of the initial circle, we're going to use as a bottom, uh, the bottom area of her nose. I'm going to give her kind of a, a little bit of a round nose. I'm sketching in the circle, but I'm just using that uh, just to like define the general shape of her nose. Okay, give her a little bit of a nostril here. And then we're going to figure out the mouth shape. I think I'm going to give her a smile. And so for her smile, I'm like lifting up the corners of the mouth, then coming down a bit for the middle. It's kind of kind of a pointy like curve here. And then lifting up the corner of the other side of her mouth like this. Now one of my favorite features uh, of Squirrel Girls is her little buck teeth. So we're gonna make sure we get those in. Right now her mouth is closed. I kind of want to see what she looks like with a slightly open mouth. Yeah, just like that. And I'm gonna just darken that in just so I know like that's the other side of her open mouth. We're gonna just mark the bottom, her lip shape right here. And just a small suggestion of it. Okay, so Squirrel Girl's got bangs, so we're gonna draw that in. And I'm gonna just kind of gently mark where I want her hair to fall. And I'm giving her just little hair tails right where her ears are gonna go now. The ear, as I usually draw it, lines up with the top of the eyebrow and the bottom of the nose. So we're gonna draw her ears right here. And now we're going to define her bangs. And I'm giving her a little bit of a part right here. Squirrel Girl has a headband. So we're gonna draw that right at the top of her head. And she's also got these cute little squirrel ears. And for those, I'm making something of a teardrop shape. Okay. There's one ear. And then we're gonna draw the other one kind of behind the hair. Do the back of her head, nice and round. Also keeping her hair in mind. Now we're gonna come back to the eyes and I think I'm gonna have her looking kind of toward the front, just a little bit off to the side. So we've got her head slightly turned this way, but we've got her eyes slightly turned that way. So we've got our sketch done. Now I'm going to ink it. I'm gonna just trace right over these lines. Because I draw pretty sketchy, like the inking process is my opportunity to decide what lines I want to strengthen, which ones I want to keep, and which ones I'm not going to keep. It's okay if your line is a little bit wobbly. You can always Go back and, you know, just smooth it out. And 
now we're going to erase our pencil lines. We don't need them anymore. And this is why when you're sketching, you want to draw lightly because it's easier to erase. I'm just going to vary the line weight in different spots just so it's not all the same. All right, looking good. And don't forget to sign your work. And we're done. Thanks for joining me, guys. <laughs>